Hello class, today we learn long multiplication. First, we write it out as 17 times 35. Hello Johnny George, how are you today? Hello Edgar Evans, happy you could join us. I'm teaching my students long multiplication. Cool, cool, teach on, teach, teach on. Thank you, will do. Next class, we do 17 as in one, as in 10 plus seven, bring that down, right? Now we bring the 35 down as in three, understood to be 30 plus five. Okay, class? Now your next step would be step two, and you will create a large box. Oh! What in the Johnny Applesauce Apple Seed are you doing, Johnny? I am teacher, Edgar Evans. Be quiet. Okay. As I was stating before I was interrupted, you draw a box. Next step. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's stop this right now, Johnny. Get out my way. Get out my way. Get out my way, Johnny. But this is my class, Edgar. Move, Johnny. You're setting these kids up for failure. Move. Just move out the way. Just move. Well, what's your way, Edgar Evans? What's your way? How would you teach the students how to do long multiplication? I mean, if you get out of my way, I'll show you. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. Get out my way, all right, watch out. Now class, let's get rid of this. Finish getting rid of that right there. Now class, my name is Edgar Evans and I'm gonna show you guys how to perform long multiplication, okay? 17, let's use a different color because I'm Edgar Evans and Johnny George is trying to overcomplicate things, but I got y'all back. 17 multiplied by 35. Now, what you want to do here, we want to cross multiply. It's very simple, very simple. 7 times 5 gives you what, class? 35. You want to bring down your 5, and you want to carry your 3 over here. That 3 that we carry, we're going to add it, right? So we're going to continue to cross multiply. 5 times 1, well, we're going to start to cross multiply. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 gives you what? 8, right? Now that we've got this out the way, you can mark it out if it makes it easy for you. Now that we have that out the way, now you want to bring down a zero as a placeholder because we already did seven times five, correct? All right then. Now we want to move over to three times seven. We're still cross multiplying. Three times seven gives you what? 21. One, and we're going to bring that, we're going to bring that two up, right? We're going to bring that three up, that two up, excuse me class, we're going to bring that two up. Three times one gives you three, plus two gives us what? Five. Find your total, your sum. Now you have 595. In result, 17 times 35 is 595. I don't know what that crap was that Johnny George was attempting to teach you guys, but the school system is overcomplicating things. Why are you overcomplicating things? Yo, but Edgar, that's the old way. What are you doing? That's the old way. I'm showing them the new way. This is the old way. What are you doing? So what's old needs fixing? This is why so many kids are failing tests today. This is why so many kids are dropping out of class and dropping out of school today. You don't need to overcomplicate things. Something that is this simple, you don't need to overcomplicate it. Well, yes, but... There is no but. Didn't you learn it this way? <laughs> he didn't want to tell you guys that class. Johnny George, didn't you learn to cross multiply this way? Didn't you learn long multiplication this way? Look, leave my classroom, Edgar Evans. Thank you for the example, but leave my classroom. All right, I'll leave your classroom, but I'll just say this. By the time you would have finished your way, the new way, I would have had my third wife. I'd have married my third wife by then. <laughs>